activities come and go for children. What they like at five, they often tire of a year or two later. Yeah, but a boy from La Crosse, Wisconsin is the exception. As Boyd Hooper shows us, when Jonah Larson wound himself up in this hobby, he did so for the long run. In this corner house in La Crosse, Wisconsin, a grandfather clock gives beat to many a grandmother's craft. I turned 11 on January 5th, Saturday. Jonah Larson has two grandmothers. Yep. They just don't crochet five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Larson is Jonah's mom. I've been doing it for half my life. Sometimes he gets up early before I even get up and he's at the table crocheting at like six in the morning. Morning and night. I'm, I'm going to sleep now, mom, but underneath that cover there's his crochet hooks and a, a, a flashlight. A light first lit. <laughs> When Jonah discovered in a bag of discarded craft items his aunt's crochet hook, which led him to YouTube. Found a basic stitch video, and from there on I was hooked. Hooked? Seriously? He made a dishcloth for his first project, and he made it perfectly. That's the first hat Jonah made. He was five. Here's a personal favorite. It's my sunset afghan with a border I made. He's a crochet prodigy. It's a Scandinavian throw. I think you were about eight when you made that one. Jonah's mom posted the first of several of his projects on Instagram. It was a, a afghan he made of 800 flowers. He was probably seven at the time. You had that group that was absolutely fascinated, then you had the doubters. What? You gotta be kidding me. There's no way that kid did that. Hi fellow crocheters. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable baby shoes. Today, Jonah has thousands of social media followers. His own catchphrase. Goodbye and crochet with. And a cowl neck trend he started by crocheting one for his mom. Thousands of people started making it and they just referred to it as the Jonah cowl. Jonah also gets fan mail. Living in Minnesota. Mail and gifts from around the world. Dear Jonah, you are an inspiration to so many people. These are some nice colors. One day I came home and there was five boxes about this size on our porch. I do have a picture of that once we um, dumped all that yarn out, Jonah's sitting in the middle of it. But the kid who may as well have a thousand out-of-town grandmas started his life alone. Yeah. That's Jonah at the orphanage in Ethiopia after he was abandoned as a newborn by his mother. There was a really high possibility he would have some cognitive delay. He was very sick. He was malnourished. Yeah. Lucked out. Jonah, adopted by the Larsons at five months. A uh, baby Afghan. Now has in his grasp his own slice of the American dream. My family, my two dogs, and Crocheting. Jonah's favorite time? Crocheting with his mom close by. Mm -hmm. Keeping tabs on the hundreds of orders for his work, a yarn company sponsorship offer. Text him real quick. And an upcoming national talk show appearance. We would fly you and Jonah in on the 30th. All while mastering advanced ninth grade algebra in the sixth grade with bigger plans ahead. I'm planning on attending West Point to the academy and then becoming a surgeon. A surgeon. This is kind of helping me prep for that. Dr. Jonah Larson's patients will be in good hands. Well, when you only have a short time, you got to make the most of it. That's true. Boyd Hubert, Care 11 News, La Crosse, Wisconsin. What an incredible young man. Jonah told us that he was a bit of a rascal in elementary school, but his behavior got better when his fifth grade teacher started letting him crochet in class. It helped keep him focused. Now, if you'd like to check out more of Jonah's work, you'll find an Instagram and Facebook link at care11.com. I was talking to Boyd earlier this week, and he said that Jonah's mom has often been accused of, the, what, of doing the work. Oh, yeah. Which, because it's so good. But she said the only crochet needles she ever picks up are the ones that she finds that he leaves <laughs> around the house. So it's all him. Amazing it is all how he him. was attracted to that and then became great at it, right? I mean, just you find something on YouTube and you learn how to do it, and then you become so good at it. It's only good things going to be coming for that young man in the future. Dr. What Larson. a great story. I love it.